There is about five uh, PARP inhibitors that are under development right now. Two have been approved and were pr primarily in, approved for ovarian cancer. So this is soon to expand. The other ones are coming, they are going to be approved, but also we're going to expand beyond ovarian cancer. PARP inhibitors work by uh, binding to the active site of PARP and prevent the conversion of NAD to these poly-ADP riboses. That sounds very complicated. But what it really does is that it is impairing, stopping the repair of many different pathways. It also traps PARP onto the DNA, creating a type of lesion onto the DNA, blocking the oncoming replication fork. So you could say that PARP inhibitors have a lot of different things. They disrupt cellular repair, in particular at replication forks. Right now, we have seen fantastic responses in ovarian cancer with PARP inhibitors, in particular maintenance therapy. And we believe now that bringing these up to treat the patients earlier rather than just the late stage patients, treating them early is probably beneficial to the patients. Looking into the future, there are many opportunities for PARP inhibitors in a wide range of indications. In particular, breast cancer, prostate cancer, we have um, gastric cancers. There are many different uh, ways that we can look also for the monotherapy and pancreatic cancer. But then also we look for combinations, and in particular the combinations with the immune checkpoint blockade inhibitors is, is where we see a, a big arise, a big uh, investment into how we will come up with new therapies there. Also combining with other targeted therapies are what's probably the most exciting.